Well, uh, you know, I'm the conductor of the Columbus Jazz Orchestra. Uh, that's in Columbus, Ohio. And everybody thinks it's a part of a football team or it's, uh, you know, one of the Buckeye uh, something. That's, you know, the Ohio, uh, Ohio State University thing. Actually, it has nothing to do with anything. It's not a school. It's not a um, university or anything. It's a band that's been in existence for 40 years, way before the Lincoln Center uh, jazz band started. There was the Jazz Arts Group of Columbus, now called the Columbus Jazz Orchestra. And we do over 100 concerts for a year for people in central Ohio. And sometimes we travel outside that area. And uh, it is truly one of the great big tre big bands in America and a treasure uh, to America. We uh, just finished, I mean, I've been there for 10 years. The previous conductor, uh, Ray Eubanks, was there for 30. And um, we finished our second recording under my uh, leadership. It's called Come Together. And... Uh, Come Together was a Beatles tune, and we recorded it, uh, but we added the elements of jazz to it. I think in so many recordings now, you'll hear jazz musicians, some are, are prejudiced and don't uh, have the courage, the, 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 they don't want to try to sort of see what, you know, but I think what happens is it, in music is things are starting to fuse together, hopefully organically or in a natural way. And most musicians you find like a lot of different kinds of music. It doesn't mean they try to play them. But how can you bring things come together? How can you bring things together that work? And so I've always been about that, whether it's bringing some jazz elements in there that I don't traditionally use avant-garde or sort of ECM kind of feelings, or whether it's just traditional uh, uh, rock music. How, how, can you, how can you throw those things together? You know, Chicory has been doing it forever. Miles Davis always did it. Um, so this is an old story, and anybody that has issues with it needs to check themselves and their particular prejudices, you know. So we, we created a record that had sort of all elements of jazz in it. We've got gospel on it. We play Down by the Riverside. We've got New Orleans on there with Bourbon Street Parade. We have original compositions, uh, one by John Clayton, actually two by John Clayton that he's written for us. Uh, we have... Uh, rock on there so it, it's we're very excited about it in response to the recording so far we are just about to release it nationally uh, it's been incredible well the, the Columbus Jazz Orchestra is composed uh, with the exception of maybe one person solely of people from Columbus Ohio and you know I think it's an important point wherever you go in, in, the, in the country, you hear great musicians. Um, you know, Freddie Hubbard and Slide Hampton were from Indianapolis. The Jones Brothers and Roland Hand and people like that were from Detroit. <coughs> you got the Chicago guys, <coughs> and you got the St. Louis guys. I mean, everybody, and everybody sort of comes to New York to get their finishing and they get their polish. But they start in different places, and you know, whether it's Kansas City, they bring that feeling, that sound. Well, Columbus has its sound, too. You know, it's got a great tradition of organ players like Don Patterson and Hank Marr, and just great musicians. Harry Sweets Edison is from Columbus. And so it's made up of, of Columbus musicians, and these guys are working jazz musicians during the day. Some of them teach at a university. But the Columbus Jazz Orchestra, as I said before, has nothing to do with the university. These guys then come to work. Uh, we'd give like in a month, we'd probably give you know six to to uh, fifteen concerts or services, um, and they come to work. And we employ guest artists that we bring in. Those are the only people that we bring in. So uh, we're next week uh, when I get off the cruise, I'll have Lewis Nash there, and also a great saxophone player Tia, Tia Fuller, and Tia is now playing with uh, I think she was musical director with Beyonce. But she's an incredible uh, jazz saxophone player. So we draw Central Ohio musicians. People drive up to a half an hour, <clears throat> 40 minutes to come see us, or to come play with us. And then we use guest artists as sort of uh, you know, our stars. Mm -hmm. 